Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Clickan and today I'm going to show you how to create a PUBG intro for your PUBG videos. So let's look at the intro. So there you have the PUBG intro that we're going to create. Uh, so what you're going to do, uh, start up uh, Adobe After Effects just like I have done here. Uh, click on the new composition is the first step to create a new project. Uh, so we're going to type in, name this PUBG intro, just like that. And we're going to stick to 10 seconds on this one. So just click on OK, just like this. And as you can see right now, we actually get a background here. Uh, so the first layer we're going to add to this is actually the grenade uh, that is going to explode and disappear. Uh, so what we're going to do, go up here to File, uh, Import uh, Image. And there we have it. And actually, as you can see right now, we actually have it here up in the corner here. So what we're going to do, drag this down to the project here. You can actually see it reveal itself on the background here. Uh, but I don't want this on the this angle. So I'm going to go up here to rotation tool. Yes, rotate it a little bit. Something like that. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is actually I want it to emerge into the picture. Uh, so we're going to click on this. Press S. So you can get the scale tool and uh, remember to always click the stop uh, watch if you want to uh, have some effects doing on the timeline. So we're going to click it, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to drag this up to, to around this, just below 2000. And what I'm going to simply do now is drag this line on the timeline to something like this. I think that looks pretty nice. So I want it to be just below 100% or un under 100% because otherwise if you just have 100 you have the scale that we had before we uh, actually tricked a little bit with the scale. So I'm going to drag this down, something like that. I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, but I know, now I actually want it to disappear uh, after it hit the ground here. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on this one and uh, choose the opacity tool. So I'm gonna drag this to the beginning here. I don't want it to reveal itself in the beginning either. So we're gonna click the stopwatch, uh, drag this down to zero, and drag this line a little bit more uh, on the timeline, and hit 100% here. So there you can actually see it reveal itself in the beginning. And we're gonna do the same thing here to make it disappear. Uh, have it on 100% here. Click on this so you get a blip here on the timeline. Just drag it just after it hits in the ground here and drag it down to zero. So you can actually see the first layer is uh, pretty much done right now. The grenade coming in, hit the ground, and just disappear. So there we have the first one. So we're going to drag this on the timeline, something like this. We can actually close this layer. So now we're actually going to create the explosion effects. So how do we do that? We click on this uh, just down here, create a new solid. And we're going to name this explosion. Just like that. And just hit OK. So what we're going to do now, go up to effects and present. If you can't find it here, go up to window and click it, uh, click it here. You will uh, find it here in the in the corner here uh, after you have done it otherwise and what we're going to search for is a particle so we're going to use the particle world so we just drag it to the solid here and now we can actually see uh, some particles uh, coming out from the frame here so what we're going to do we're going to click on the effects here and go down from particle world so we're going to use uh, production and uh, we're gonna trick a little bit with the radius uh, x, y, and uh, this one. Uh, so we can actually put this on zero, the x and the y, just like that. And this we're gonna hit up to maximum that we can, something like that. And you can actually see it disappear here, and that's actually one thing that we wanted to. Uh, so what we're gonna do? Click on this button because we want it to be uh, this in this timeline and we're gonna drag up the particles and 
drag the opacity down to zero in this point. And so click the stopwatch here as well, to zero. And drag it a little bit further. And we're gonna drag it up to 100%, just so we can see it emerge from this picture. And what we're gonna do now is actually dragging this as well down to zero. So you can actually see it coming out from the picture here. Something like that. But actually this uh, looks pretty bad. So we're actually gonna trick a little bit with the velocity as well. So go down to uh, here, uh, psych uh, trees, and drag this one up to something like 349, I think. There you can actually get the, the more explosion uh, effects. So as you can see here, we actually have nothing and it just explode. And now we actually want it to disappear as well. So we don't have it uh, going this way the whole, whole, on the whole line. So we're actually gonna drag it just a little bit more to create an explosion effect, something like that. Uh, so go down here to the opacity again and just drag it down to zero. You can actually see it now disappeared. There we go. And there we actually have the explosion effects as well. So we're pretty done with the first two layers. Just like that. And what we want to do now is actually to make the pubg uh, picture come into this. So what we're gonna do, go up to file again, import a new image. So we have the pubg uh, background here. Uh, as you can see here, so we're gonna drag it down under this. And what we're gonna hit now, we actually want it to emerge after the explosion into the background as well. So click on this one, press S uh, to the scale. We can drag it down, you can actually see we can drag it a bit. So we're gonna drag this on the timeline. We actually want it to emerge something here. So click, always click the stopwatch. I'm gonna tell you again there. Drag it down to zero. And now we can actually don't see it here on the on the background. So we're gonna drag this a little bit more to the uh, on the timeline. Just drag it up to just below so it can fit in the background. Something like something like that. I think it looks pretty nice. So as you can see right now how far we have come now on the three layers. The grenade, the explosion, and there you can actually see the pubg uh, picture coming in coming in. Just like that. And now we actually want uh, the, the pubg uh, logo al also come in. So we're gonna basically do the same as this background. Uh, so go up here to file, import a new new picture. And we see, there we have it. Just like that. Uh, so you can see here, let's drag it under here as well. Make sure that this is uh, above this, otherwise you, you can't see it. Uh, so I want to make it come into the picture as well. Uh, 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 click on this, press S, and drag down the scale uh, to zero as well. Just like that. Uh, remember, click the stopwatch, drag it a little bit further, and drag this one up to 100%. Just like that. So you can actually see it reveal itself as well. Just like that. So there we basically have the intro. Uh, if you want your name here as well, I can show you how to do that as well. Uh, click here. Uh, instead of uh, choosing solid, choose text. And we can type in your name. Uh, we're gonna just type name. I'm gonna drag it just below here. I'm gonna choose some nice color as well. I'm gonna stick to Green is actually one of my favorite colors. Uh, let's see. Make sure that you have the whole name uh, clicked in. Otherwise you uh, can't choose uh, another color. Just like that. So now you can actually see it. So here you actually have the uh, PUBG logo and your name. Uh, if you want this to come in as well, you can actually do so by uh, doing two things. Uh, you can actually choose, let's see where we have them. 
down here, here. You can do this on two things. You can actually choose the opacity if you want it just to fade in. Or you can do as we did with the other logo. We can actually do it to just pop up. So I'm just going to choose this to fade in instead. Uh, so how do we do that? We click on the stopwatch as always. Uh, drag this down to zero. Just drag, drag this a little bit further. And hit 100%. So there we basically have the whole intro that we're gonna create. Uh, so now let's check how it looks. Go up to composition and check the preview. So here we actually have the public intro. And there we have it. And I'm gonna show you how to save this as well because uh, many don't know how to do that. So go up to composition, uh, go down to pre-render and here we have the saving tool I just uh, click on the render tool here. Just click the button there. And there you save it. Uh, I hope that you find this tutorial useful. I really hope that you find this tutorial useful. If you do, please give it a thumb up. And if you want more game intros, uh, please give a comment down below. And don't forget to check out my Twitch channel, uh, click on official for more gameplay and more tutorials. Until next time, boys and girls, take care now. Bye bye then.